Can you spot which video is real and which one is fake? To know the answer, watch till the end. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a research project with the help of which you can take an image and a video and do motion uh, transfer between them. The outcome is going to look something like this. The best part is it's open source and free to use, so you can run it on your own machine. The demos I'm about to show you are on, based on uh, this paper, Plate Spline Motion Model for Image Animation. I will put a link to the paper in the description. Before showing you the demos, let me walk you through the process. So in this case, you have a driver video and you want to animate your picture based on the content of this video. So in the first step, we simply detect key points on the subject. So for example, in this case, there are some key points that are uh, detected on the face. Then for each consecutive frames, those key points are being tracked and that will give you the movement of the face. Next, for your input image, you first detect those key points. Then you create replicas of your uh, input image. So those are going to be fake frames. And then you simply apply the transformation from the key frames from the original video into these uh, fake frame of the input image. So that will basically transform uh, your input image based on each corresponding frame from the original video. And you combine them together and that's how you get the... And using this approach, you can actually create deep fakes. So it's really important for the audience to be aware of the risks and dangers involved with deep fakes. The material I'm about to show you is simply for educational purposes. Here is the GitHub page of the project. All the models and codes are available at this page. Uh, so if you want to run them locally, you can do that. They have provided uh, multiple interfaces. We're going to be uh, trying the replicate demo. So if you simply click on this, this will take you uh, to this replicate.com website. Let me walk you through what is actually happening on this page. Their model affects uh, an image that you want to animate. So for example, in this case, they have uh, an example of image of Donald Trump, right? Uh, if not that, you can click on this drop a file or click a, uh, click to select. We will do this later on. Or you can actually even use your own image. So simply click on uh, this link that will uh, open your webcam and uh, take your own picture. Right? So that's the first part that you need. That's the input source image. The second part, a video based on which you want to animate your image. They call it the driving video. You can also provide your own video if you want to. Next section is data sets. So they actually have four different models. This, this Vox model is based on celebrity uh, who is simply talking in front of the camera. But then they have a Tai Chi model where they have trained a model uh, to basically learn Tai Chi movements. Uh, the second one is, uh, the third one is TED where uh, they have another model which will um, convert your image uh, such that you are giving a talk, right? And then some animated GIFs as well. But we're going to be focusing on the first model in this video. So here are some example animations. So the first one is the uh, driving video. That's the, the one we saw. And, and the first row is different images and they are animated based on the style of the video that was provided. This a second set of images shows what to expect from the uh, TED Talk model. So in that case, you have one driving video and a, st uh, a bunch of static images and they are animated. You can see that um, these animated images are able to replicate driving video pretty accurately. Let's test this on our own images. So for that, go to this demo tab. Now you have two options. Either you can provide an image by dragging here or clicking here, or you can open your webcam and take your own picture. I'm going to do with the first option. So I'll select this image uh, if you have seen my previous video, this is the avatar that I used. In order to animate this image, all we have to do is come and click on Submit. Once you click on Submit, it will start the uh, prediction process. Uh, Sometimes it will give you a message saying that uh, it's loading the model and it could take up to three minutes. Uh, if that's the case, just wait for it. Now, but basically what it's doing is it's creating those frames or just uh, duplicating these frames and getting prediction on those. I think it did a pretty good job. 
and let's try one more. So I got some of these images from a free website called Pixabay. You can actually also explore images from that. This is going to be, um, I think, a pretty challenging one. So let's get the predictions from this one. Uh, one thing you need to be careful about is uh, the training data uh, or like the videos didn't contain any hand movements and stuff like that. So if you want to um, try this on your own video, uh, make sure that it's just the face and not like hand movements and things like that specifically for this Vox uh, model. Here are some example videos that we generated. Now, if you look at some of them, they look pretty realistic, especially for example, this person. One thing to note is uh, in most of the cases, these AI generators are not able to accurately represent teeth. So it, whenever you want to see whether a video is AI generated and like a deep fake or not, mostly look at the teeth. Right? So for Elon Musk, it does a pretty good job. But for the other ones, if you focus on teeth, it doesn't do a good job. Another aspect to consider when you are generating these uh, deep fakes is just make sure that the pose uh, that, that you're going to use in uh, in your image is very similar uh, to the one uh, that is in the travel video. All right. But I'm actually kind of impressed, like, uh, even with the facial hairs, it's still able to uh, follow the uh, head movements from the travel video. If you have seen my uh, DID video, you will notice that here, the facial movements are a lot more natural compared to what we were able to achieve using that paid uh, software. All right, in this case, we are going to look at this example. So that's the driving video. We provided an image and here is the uh, resultant animated video. Let's uh, click on tweak. This will uh, take you to the uh, demo interface again. Now we can test it on our own images. So let me pick the Rachel again and come down just click submit so it's uh, starting the model it will take us uh, some time so let me pause the video here i ran it on multiple images you can see that there are much more natural movements uh, it does seem to do a better job on female uh, faces compared to the male face uh, i think it has to do with the female face structure that that is in the driving video I think overall the facial muscle movement as well as the eye movements are um, following uh, the uh, driving video. So it seems to be working uh, pretty great. In this last test, we're going to use our own video as a driving video. So click on upload. And here we select uh, a very simple video. The person is performing simple movements. But it's going to be very challenging because um, this video contains facial hairs as well as eyeglasses. And uh, our test subject is not going to have a facial hair as prominent, uh, neither eyeglasses. So let's see how it behaves. So we'll click submit to process both our video as well as our input image. Here is the same test on some other videos. I feel like if you look at the outcomes if you didn't know that uh this is the original video right and these are fake i think for some of them it's uh actually hard to figure out there if they are even fake uh so it does a pretty good job um and especially given that um the camera in the original uh video is moving so it makes it a lot more challenging so with this approach you can potentially simply record your video and then um, use an avatar instead of your own face while you keep the audio. Since this model is able to capture the micro motions of the face, so your avatar is going to have more natural uh, movements and look. Apart from this model, there are other models on the same uh, web page, which are catered towards uh, full body movements. So I would encourage everyone to explore those as well. As far as I'm aware, there is no uh, limit on how long the video can be. Uh, the only, I think, constraining factor is the time it's going to take. So the longer video are going to take, much longer to process. And you can also run these on your local machine if you want.
if you watched the video till this point, uh, I hope you like the content. So please consider liking uh, the uh, video and subscribing. But thanks for watching. See you in the next one.